we really miss her very much. She was the angel, our blessing. The love of our lives. She, she's what made our world go around. It's been 13 days since Candace Bly and Donald Wells last saw their five-year-old daughter, Summer. I'm just scared that somebody's hurting her. And there's nothing I can do about it. And it, it, it smothers me. As the almost two-week-long search through the rough terrain scales back, Summer's parents say they believe someone took their daughter. Personally, I think someone came up here and grabbed her and ran down the hill. I think so, And too. threw her in a car and drove as far away as they could from this area. I know she didn't walk away from this property by herself or off this yard by her swing. I feel in my heart that somebody has came up here and took her, has lured her away from here. Around 6.30 in the evening on June 15th, her father called to report her missing, but he wasn't home yet from work. Me and my mother and her were planting flowers, and we went in after we got done washing our hands, and she got a piece of candy from Grandma, and she wanted to go back over and see her brothers. And I said, okay, and I walked her all the way over to the porch, and I watched her walk into the kitchen where the boys were watching TV. And I told the boys, I said, watch Summer, I'll be back. And within two minutes, I came back, and I asked the boys where their sister was, and they said, she went downstairs, Mom, to play with her toys in the playroom. I said, okay. And I yelled downstairs for her a couple times, and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check, and she was nowhere in sight. She was just gone. Summer has three older brothers. When they get out of line, she'd put them in line. Her parents say she loves princesses, especially the movie Frozen, and to be outside. She loves to dance. She she would always want me, she says, Daddy, hold my hand so I can twirl. And she would she would just like to twirl and twirl and twirl until my arm got tired. She loved to play in the mud and the water and swing on her swing and enjoy dirt. Now, authorities are looking for the driver of a red Toyota Tacoma that was in the area around the time Summer went missing and stressing that this person is a potential witness. I've never seen this truck. And I've never heard of it until just recently. But I wish they would come forward and explain themselves. And if you're not a suspect, they at least come forward and say what you've seen. No one has been named a suspect, and authorities have not ruled Summer's disappearance as an abduction. But tonight, her parents have one plea. Please find it in your heart, have mercy, and find a way of letting her go. And, and where we can get her back. Please bring her back home. Just please. let her come home, please. We miss her so much. Her brothers are so devastated that they wake up every morning crying for their sister. And as a mother, it really hurts to see your other children crying. A tomboy. I shaved my head. She wanted to have her head shaved like me and the boys did. She tried to shave her head. She tried in to the shave her head and, and make it. Uh, I think you can see it in some of the pictures. And it was getting out of control. So she, we decided to shave her head off and let it go back long. And she shaved her head to, to so she wouldn't feel bad. And uh, but, but it didn't bother. Her. This feel this way about us, but we love our children with everything we have. We've never went without. Thanks to Summer's daddy and my husband, he's always provided for us and has worked as much as he could and can and still is. And I'm sorry that you guys feel that way but 
that's my baby and nobody would ever treat her like that as long as I was around, ever. We were waiting on my mother's prescription from the drugstore at Walgreens on Fort Henry and Morla, Mor Moreland Drive and Warriors was straight across so we just figured I'd take her over there to go swimming for a little bit while we waited on my mom's prescription. Right. We weren't even there but 20 minutes. And so then Summer came back here with you later that afternoon, right? Yes. Okay. And so was there anybody else with you? No, time? not when we came home, no. Was there anybody else swimming with you? People, I think, had questions about Um, that. wanted to go with because he didn't want to be around his grandmother because, as he would call it, she's a... I'm sorry, that's what he said. And I said, okay, well, I got to go pick up mom from the hospital, and then we got to go do Walgreens, and then I'll take you home. Well, we had to wait for mom's prescription at Walgreens, so we just went up to Warriors. There was all kinds of trash everywhere at Warriors when we showed up. And I let Summer out to play, and we just stood there for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we all got back in the truck and we got mom's prescription. And I took him home, and then we came home. About how many hours like, was that before she was reported missing? You know, I really can't tell you all the time details because time gets away from you when you're trying to enjoy yourself. Is there anything else you wanted to address about the TikTok or any rumors or things you've seen about that? around that topic? I don't really have no more than that. Sister missing. Did you want to say anything? Because we know that this is the second time you've dealt with a heartbreak that you don't have an answer to when your sister missing. Did you want to say anything about your sister being missing or recall any of that? When my sister called missing, I was in between Arkansas and Tennessee. I don't know all of what happened or what did happen but i hope that they find her too and bring her home safely too well, yeah there's no there's nothing that, i mean she disappeared without a trace they haven't found anything haven't found a body nothing and and you know when you see cases like that that's what, why i lose hope on summer you know i want to keep hope but sometimes i just i i, I just i lose hope lose it. and i think well maybe we won't never see her again you know or, so i start thinking in past tense sorry but i'm trying to keep hope up i'm trying to keep my prayers up and all that and you know has it been tough you know having to deal with that situation and then this happening too i mean how does that make you feel that it is difficult it's very difficult it it makes no sense at all. How can people just vanish and not be heard from or seen without a trace? It's very devastating. Keep a close watch on your kids. Yes. Don't let them out of your sight.